Hiya and welcome to the Steam Spring Festival 2020 demos. This is Quench, which is, I believe, a puzzle animal herding game. I'm just going straight in. Let's see what this is about. Once every generation, the elephant tribe makes a grand pilgrimage. They set far from the western elder tree and gather the other animal tribes. Springbok. Wildebeest. Zebras. Baboons and lion. To make a long journey to the eastern elder tree. As they always have, each tribe brings offerings to honor the trees. But for one generation, the journey was different. The land became dry and hot. With murmurs of dark spirits in the east. Worse, the western elder tree bore only a single fruit on the eve of their departure, the younger leader, the young leader of the elephant tribe, kept vigil, waiting for an omen from the elder tree. Shaman. I am beginning to understand the elder trees only fruit was not an ill omen but a precious gift I'm shaman 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 <laughs> of the elephant tribe and you you are the shepherd a child of the elder tree although you don't know it yet you possess a great power you possess great power are we this little stalk when you saw high in the skies, rain shall stretch out behind you. When you beat your wings, great gales will whip past you. When your feet touch the earth, the ground will yawn beneath you. And when you cry out, lightning shall strike all around you. Shepherd, I fear something is very wrong in the land. I do not believe the pilgrimage will be easy. Will you aid us on this journey? I like the art style. It's nice. And the music. It's all very nice. Hope it stays nice and doesn't get scary. <laughs> the pilgrim I don't think it's gonna get scary by the way. The pilgrimage to the eastern elder tree is about to begin. But first shaman must must teach you how to use the powers of rain and wind. So I guess we're gonna use these powers to um direct the animals about? I'm not quite sure. Inspect groves carefully, they are dry, covered in sand. Or are they, are they dry, covered in sand, brambles, or boulders? Okay. We will see. First steps. The pilgrimage to the eastern elder tree is about to begin. But first, shaman must teach you how to use the powers of rain and wind. Oh, I think I've already read that. The morning is bright and clear, a good start to the pilgrimage. 
Shepard, let's start by learning to control rain. You can use your rain power to grow plants. There's a patch of dead grass. Why don't you try raining on it to restore it? You can use weather powers to control the environment. Select the power using the mouse. So press E to confirm. Uh, so that's water. I guess you can use E or the click. Ah, that was a grove. When you receive... When you revive a grove, it gives you more power. You should definitely keep an eye out for those. I think there are two more nearby. Okay, right, right. There's the elephants. So... We have unlimited use of the rain. It looks, and we've got zero use of the wind. Oh, there it is. Seems like you have a good grasp on rain now. This is the seed from your fruit shepherd the only fruit our elder tree bore it is all we have to offer the eastern elder tree it will have to be enough at the start of our pilgrimage we stop to ask for the blessings of our ancestors if we leave now we will arrive at the canyon of the elders by sunset as we travel our tribe will move on our own while you fly overhead all animal tribes graze as we move. We need to eat grass to help to keep our stamina up. If we are travelling on dead grass, rocks or sand, we can't graze. When our stamina runs out, the weakest among us may die. No. Rain can give us grass to eat by bringing to life the land. Terrain can help or hinder herd stamina. Grass and scrub, when grown, can help animals, animals recover, but rock and sand are bad news. Herds lose stamina if attacked while swimming or traversing fire or po pollution. So watch out. Once the stamina bar runs out, an animal will die. So they are the terrains that are okay to eat and these are not okay. Oh, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between this one and this one. There is a resting tree ahead, but it has withered. You know what to do. Okay. Lead the elephants to the final resting tree. We will rest here for a while as you fly on and scout the path ahead. If you could spare some rain here, the grass would give us more stamina for the journey ahead. Sometimes sand collects here. It slows us down and prevents the trees from growing. Could you use wind to clear a path for us and dig out and dig our resting tree out so it can grow. I think there's a wind grove nearby. Okay, so we'll give them some rain first. Thank you, Shepherd. That will keep us that will give us plenty to eat while we rest. So is it that the no, is that the stamina or is that the number of animals? I don't know. Um, and then I guess if we rain on this wind grove, we'll get the wind power. This grove gave you five wind charges when you rained on it. Keep an eye out for the sigil stones next to the grove. They give you a hint about which power you'll get back. After you place wind, you must also choose a direction for it to travel the direction determines where the sand or smoke beasts will go or whether animals will speed up or slow down cool um right so we can we can blow it up or well i guess we can blow it down but that's rocks so maybe we should blow it up uh, right, how do we rotate it? Okay, 
it doesn't look like I have... Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, or maybe down here. That's sand, isn't it? I think. The rest in tree is uncovered. Use rain to restore it. Oh, there's still some sand there. I think I did that wrong. Thank you, Shepard. When you're ready, signals to move by move on by choosing our next direction. Animals move on their own, but when they stop to rest, you can direct them using shepherding mode. Click on the herd badge or press E while the herd is selected. Okay, I guess we only have one way to send them anyway, so... I'll have to go over this sand, but hopefully it's okay. I don't know where the stamina bar is. And I don't know what this circle is. Oh, is this where they're gonna be? Level completed, first steps. Learn how to use rain by reviving three groves. Uh, leave the elephants and you learn the wind that's fine so it's i guess it's in levels then and i imagine that it'll probably get a lot more complicated when grass and scrub grass and scrub when grown can help animals recover stamina rocks and sand are bad news yeah we got that As the sun sinks below the cliffs, shaman and the elephants stop to offer prayers to their ancestors. I'm so relieved. We arrived at the Canyon of the Elders in time. But look, the flowers we planted on our family's graves are all dried up and covered in sand and rocks. Shepherd, will you help me clean the groves on each shrine so that we can probably ask for blessings for our pilgrimage? Groves give you more power, so explore to find them all. Inspect the grove carefully to learn how to revive it. Is it dry, covered in sand, or blocked by boulders or brambles? Sigil stones mark which powers you'll receive in return. So that is covered in sand, isn't it? So... What's this? Learn to use quake on boulders and wellsprings. Oh, we've got no rain this time. So how can we revive it if we've got no rain? Uh, okay, so that's covered in sand, isn't it? So if I do this and blow it into the water... And now I've got loads of earthquakes, so now I guess I can move these on. No, I thought they wanted to visit this shrine. Um, is that one actually alright? Or... Uh, let's... It's got butterflies on it, I don't want to blow it with wind. Uh, well, let's see what happens. I'm not sure that did anything. Oh no! I see the boulders just before it told me that. Can you use your quake to break them up so the Yes, I can. I'm sorry. Oops. Oh no, the elephants are gonna get crushed! <laughs> oh, they didn't. May our tribe be like the Baobabs. Baobab. Baobabs root. Encircling the stone placed upon the earth, not opposing, but embracing our trials ahead. Okay, okay, right. <sighs> um, let's see. Boulders. Oh, now they've gone to this shrine. I've done them in the wrong order, that's all. May our tribe glitter and skip like 
the sun's reflections, joyful and bright, even numerous, friends to all creatures of earth. Do I need to blow on any of that? Uh, oh no, I c maybe I can rain on this one. I can imagine if you end up guiding like five different tribes at once, it would be a bit uh, nuts, maybe. So that's giving me some wind. Oh, I can zoom in and out as well. Using wind on your herds can hurry them along. I feel like I'm a bit late now. Maybe I should have done it in that valley. May our tribe be like the rains to the grass, spreading new growth, new green, new blossoms where we step. And then this is the next one, isn't it? So that's grown and then this one this shrine is all dried up something is blocking the flow of water here could you use quick the wellspring could you quick the wellspring loose so the water will flow oh I didn't notice uh, May our tribe ever flow with the purpose of the river, always knowing our direction, gathering streams and strength and speed along our way. That's cool. I like that one. Oh no, look, Shepherd, the shrine of the ancestors is all dried up. The waterfalls have stopped flowing. This is another awful omen. The shrine's lake is fed by a wellspring atop the cliff. Did something happen to it? Uh, let's quick it then. Thank you, Shepherd. That looks okay, doesn't it? I don't think I need to do anything to that. Looks like the... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I wanted to use that one. Uh, oh, well. Maybe this isn't the last one. You have my deep gratitude, Shepherd. Our shrines are beautiful once more. Just as the Elder Tree offers our tribe life, so we take, the pilgr so we take this pilgrimage to offer our gifts. We spread, we celebrate, we garden. We honour the future with our past. The morning with the evening. We honour the east with the west and return here. May we go with the blessings of our ancestors. This is my first pilgrimage, my first time leading the tribe. When I was a calf, my grandmother taught me, my grandmother taught my mother the ways of the shaman. But mother succumbed to illness, so in the time she had left, grandmother taught me instead. Grandmother was to lead this pilgrimage, but she became weak, so I will lead it instead. I'm afraid, Shepherd. I am too young. The elder tree grew only one fruit. Was it a sign? Bad luck for the journey? The others must think this way. Yet, that fruit bore you, didn't it? I have to prove them wrong. Will you help me? I'll help you. Level completed. 
There was another shrine though. Herds lose stamina if attacked while swimming or traversing fire or pollution. I wonder how long the demo is if we'll get to some of the either the other groups or some of these dangers. Lost one. The elephants make their way to the coast of the Westland where trouble and news awaits. Learn to use lightning to clear brambles. These brambles are too dense for us to pass through. Perhaps you could burn them away with your lightning. But be careful not to start a bush fight a brush fire. The ground here is rather dry. Um so what if I earthquake this? Lightning can't burn brambles while being rained on. I didn't rain, did I? No, I just got some rain. So... Um, do we think I need to do that one as well first? No, let's do this. It's just one on its own. It's here that it's gonna be dangerous. Don't... What are they doing? It looks like the herd will have to choose which path to take. Shep oh, what is that elephant doing? <laughs> You'll need to go through the fire, just give it a minute. Shepherd, you can see much farther than us. Some paths are easier, some safer. We will leave the decision to you. Each herd has a stamina meter that you can that keeps track of how tired your animals are. The herd badge will turn red when encountering danger and green when grazing at a resting tree or healing from rain. Select the next or previous herd by pressing Z and X. Okay. And uh, we need rain. Right, they're resting. I see the stamina. We get some more lightning there. Do you think you can just leave them there while you just do the whole route ahead of them? Because, um, obviously. It's both gonna lead this way, isn't it? Um, so you can either go that way or this way. This way seems safer because there's loads of these up there. But that's a resting tree, isn't it? Let's go down. I'll get some more lightning. Uh, we've got to rain on this one, don't we? go down but I need to quickly do this corner don't walk straight through it can I pause them oh they're so stupid stop and that needs somewhere. oh they all died some of them died. Right, don't set them off until the fire's done. I mean, I've only got one rain left. There's the next resting tree. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to do this. 
They're up there safe there. We need to do the earthquake here. Imagine it's so easy to do the wrong thing, like especially like later on if you've got loads of different paths that you can take. Where are we actually heading then? Or is that the end goal there? Because if it is, I think they're ready to go. Oh, let's blow wind over them. Oh, not yet. Now. Oh, that's cute. Oh, but it didn't help them over the worst bit, did it? Springbok doing here and alone she looks on the verge of unconsciousness she needs energy when one of us is about to pass out you can give them a zap of your lightning <laughs> not rain lightning lightning is dangerous and it can kill us if you're not careful but it can also be life-saving source of power Shepard try using lightning on the Springbok There we go. Thank the trees I found you. Thought this spirit would be the end of me. Oh, excuse my rudeness. I'm Scout. Headlong sent me with news from the Eastland. Headlong. They're our tribe's leader. Should have led with that. It's been a while since the elephants have been to the Eastland, right? Why did the Springbok send a messenger when we are only days or days travel to the Veldt? Your tribe has been grazing the Westland safer here. But after the crossing, you will see. Dark spirits like smoke come alive. They wander the Veldt, sometimes chase if you get too close mostly they don't bother with us but when they do it's bad news best not let them get close headlong wanted to warn you our tribe is on the move to get away from these smoke beasts if what scout says is true we must journey quickly but headlong may have more knowledge what should i do we will meet with headlong the spring box should be given the choice to make a pilgrimage with us or stay behind got it i'll tell them but you should move quickly we won't stay long we'll we'll make the crossing tonight to be sure we catch up level completed lost one so I didn't understand that last bit of dialogue because they are going to come with us. They're not going to stay where they are because they're trying to get away from the spoke monsters, aren't they? But I guess that's going to put a limit on how long you can stay at one of the trees. That's my guess how it's going to affect everything anyway. Shaman and the elephants must make a dangerous water crossing from their home to the eastland where the other tribes await. Right. We must make the crossing tonight if we wish to catch up with the spring box in time. There is much more water than when I was last here. We elephants are good swimmers but we will eventually tire. Long swims are very dangerous for any creature. Shepherd, your healing rain can give us a boost of stamina but if one of us falls remember to use lightning to revive them. Just watch out, water and lightning are a dangerous combination. Lightning's effects will spread further over open water. Please choose our path carefully. Okay. I feel like I need a... Oh. 
I also say I feel like we need a pause button. Um. Right. Well, I'm gonna need this, Anna. I've lost my elephants. There they are. Right. So, what options do we have then? We're gonna go here and then across this island, right? I'm gonna need this lightning. I guess this needs some rain. Oh, I think I missed. Oh, I didn't miss it. Whew! It was close. Uh, elephants. Oh, we can go up, right? Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, yeah, let's go that way. Oh, but it's a long journey. Put some rain on that. What does this one need? That doesn't need anything. Maybe we can blow them over there. Or they do two things over the water. Three things. Wait, where does that actually take you then? And that's more of a climb. We're going all across the water. Let's do this. So we're going over here. That's oh, what was the back? Um, going over here. That's ready for them. Then this one. Oh, that one needs a light. Thing. And that one needs a rain. Yep, that's ready for you. The next one's ready for you too. And the next one. And then this one's a big climb, but I've got wind. Um oh danger, danger. Okay, they're not stopping there. I thought they would stop. I feel like the wind won't help in the water because it'll just make it wavy. I wouldn't think that the rain would help either though, to be fair. I was going to say, something was happening there. What was that? There it is again. The waves are getting stronger. Oh, okay. Um, move on. No, we don't need to go that way. We got it all planned out. We're going this way. Yeah, it's a smaller gap than going that way. Oh, but that's shallower, but... If we can just get to this one, then we can plan ahead. Oh, see? That's shallow, too. Yeah, we're good. And then we've got big hill. We can manage that. Okay, then this one I think needs some wind. It's covered in sand, isn't it? And then some rain. Are you okay, elephant? Yeah. That one's ready. Then, oh, then where? Okay, then up to there. So we've got a big stretch. 
of water, jeez. Might be better off. But look, it's shallow. It's not. No, right now. Go, 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 go while it's up. Go, go, go. While that's showing. Um, that needs a quick. We're ready with my electric shock for them. No stragglers. Right, you're on some land there. Nearly. Keep going and you're on the grass. Nice. Thank the trees, we made it to the Eastland. We'll rest tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll cross the veldt and look for the Springbok tribe. I guess we're just going all the way there. I don't think there's any more for me to do. Level completed, the crossing. Nice. Shepherd's egg fruit bore a second gift, a single baobab seed. An offering for the Eastern Elder Tree. On the first day, Shaman taught Shepherd to fly. How to master both sky and land. The elephant tribe passed through the grazing lands. And bid their ancestors grant them safe travel. Instead came a warning. Spirits, smoke beasts were roaming the Eastland. By moonlight, the elephant tribe crossed the fragile bridge from Westland to Eastland across the sea that stretched between them. The herd was chased by spirit and flood. But Shepherd guided them to safety. That's it. That's all of the demo that we get. I really like the art style. I like how it's like its own version of pixely. And it's very obviously reminiscent of like paintings on a rock. Um, it's very pretty. I mean, I think I'm not gonna play it. But it was a nice little story and I can imagine that it's going to get complicated. If you've got multiple tribes going through water, beasts, like I know that we missed a lot there. We got all the elements I think but when you've got to try and manage what you're using your elements on I bet there's like strategy and you'll have to restart a few times by the time you've looked at your multiple options to see where they're going to go and stuff. Make sure that they don't all die. Um, I imagine it'll get quite complex. So that was Quench. It played really nice actually. Like I didn't have any trouble with it. Um, so thank you for watching. Stay safe and catch you for the next one. Which is We Should Talk. Thank you. Bye.